Greetings everyone. In this tutorial we're going to explore Cabri 3D and in particular we're going to learn how to make a stellated icosahedron. And this will give us some feeling how uh, this software works. Uh, when we are all done we're going to see uh, a shape that is uh, like this one. Uh, as you can see it is created by uh, tetrahedra. Uh, you can see a group of five uh, tetrahedra at the top, creating the top dome, if you will. Uh, another five creating the bottom uh, dome, which is in blue in color. And then there is a yellow equator. Um, there are 10 of those uh, tetrahedra. So you can see in total there are 20 tetrahedra that are planted on a uh, icosahedron, which has, uh, as you may recall, 20 faces. So let's learn how to do this. Um, so we go to Cabri 3D and we open a blank uh, page. And uh, remember, you can turn around your environment in Cabri 3D in the Macintosh by pressing the Control uh, key. Uh, and uh, I believe there is a version of that uh, should be also available in the PCs. Uh, so what I do is I go to my icons, uh, second to the last one is where all the platonic solids are. This is actually where you could have a lot of fun playing with. I'm going to select the one that is the regular icosahedron. Um, and what uh, needs to happen, and this is what it will be helpful to have the tool help available to us. Uh, when you read the tool help instructions, it's going to tell you how to... Uh, uh, create your objects and you're going to notice that it's going to require you to acknowledge a plane where the A face of the icosahedron is going to lie on. So I'm going to acknowledge the plane. Then it requires a center. I'm going to pull the center like that. And uh, this is where uh, my icosahedron is going to lie. Uh, you may also enjoy actually doing this uh, in a manner that exploits the um, the coordinate system given here. Acknowledge the plane, start at the origin, and then end at uh, the end of the unit vectors here. Okay. Now what we do is we're going to decorate this icosahedron with uh, the uh, tetrahedra. So I go to regular tetrahedra and observe all I need to do is come close to the proximity uh, of the uh, icosahedron, it's going to nicely snap. Uh, so that I don't get confused which one is which, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to right click, let's go back to the arrow, and I'm going to right click on the, um, so control click in, Ma in the Macintosh, uh, on the icosahedron, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the surface color to something else so I don't get confused which one is which. So I do that, so that way I now know that this is the uh, foundation of the stellated shape we're going to create. Now when you go to the tetrahedron, it's going to basically snap very nicely. What I recommend is do five and get a sense of where you are. So here, five of them, I decorated the, uh, if you will, a dome. Now I'm going to do this on the other side and then I'm going to do the equator. So one, two, three, four, five. You could also color these uh, individually. Now all we need is to sort of go around the equator, uh, observe the plane is going to get in our way, but we can always uh, hide that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, uh, uh, again, I, the regular tetrahedron. I'm going to basically go one by one without omitting anything. Uh, and let's see what we got here. Now we need to sort of surface on the other side. I put one here, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, at this point, uh, the plane is redundant. I recommend uh, you hide it. Uh, you hide things by, uh, first of all, always let's make sure we are in the arrow mode when we're selecting things. I select this, and then uh, I believe there's a hide and show option uh, at the edit menu. Um, okay, 
So now you have created your uh, stellated icosahedron. Stellated means it has become basically a star. Uh, here's a cool trick. Uh, you can actually right click or control click on the background and make it any color that you want. So you could choose a cool color to go uh, with your background. Uh, maybe we'll just choose black here. And you're going to notice um, that uh, it once you give it a spin, it will uh, continue uh, rotating by itself. It's quite a fabulous software and uh, quite intuitive. And I strongly recommend having the help, uh, tool help option available so you can see how uh, each tool uh, e e needs to be applied. Alrighty, uh, I'm hoping in another video to show you actually how to build this object uh, uh, from scratch uh, using uh, basically just uh, folding paper. So this is quite uh, easy. Once you understand how to create a tetrahedron, uh, it is quite easy to create 20 of them and create the domes and the equator and put all of this together. Okay? I hope you enjoyed. Take care.